Listen, get ready for some cosmic excitement. I've got a story about NASA and research suggesting that plants can grow outside of Earth, more specifically on the moon and possibly beyond. You wanna talk about it? Let's get cryptic. Now back in the day during the Apollo missions 11, 12, and 17, astronauts brought back lunar soil or regolith as the experts like to call it for future research. And now, during the Artemis era, our astronauts are back at it, hauling samples from the moon's surface. And guess what? The brilliant minds at the University of Florida have been playing in the dirt, and they've made a discovery that's out of this world. In a paper published in the prestigious communications biology journal, these scientists have shown that plants can sprout and grow in lunar soil. And not just any plants, we're talking about thalecrass, cauliflower, and broccoli. So what's the talk with all this lunar gardening business? Well, it's all about the search for life beyond our planet. You see, plants are the key to supporting future space missions and the dream of a lunar base. Now, by studying moon soil, NASA is diving deep into questions like, can plants thrive in harsh lunar environments? Because lunar soil isn't exactly like our good old earth dirt, oh no. It's missing some key nutrients like water, carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. It's like trying to grow tomatoes in the Sahara Desert. They also want to know how do they respond to alien soil and are there any nasties hiding in there that can potentially harm us? Now hold on to your space helmet and stay with me because I've got more. The lunar soil didn't mess with the signals and hormones responsible for plant growth, which means the plants are happily growing away on the moon. Now imagine not having to haul everything from the earth to the moon. That's a big expensive hassle, right? This breakthrough means that future lunar explorations can save a bundle by using the resources already on the moon. It also means longer space missions and solutions to challenges we're facing back at home, like nutrition and future explorations. NASA is already gearing up to send a man and the first woman to the moon by 2024, and they're eyeing sustainable travel by 2028 through the Artemis program. So what's my take on this entire story? Well, here it is. Now listen, I don't know what in a sci-fi fantasy is going on, but I do know that this is a giant leap for human mankind and our understanding of the universe. The ability to grow plants on the moon is a game changer in our quest to explore other celestial bodies. It shows that life in the form of plant organisms can adapt and thrive in conditions vastly different than our own. This raises the tantalizing possibility that biodiversity may also exist on other planets or moons within our solar system and beyond. This research is like the opening of a door to discovering an extraterrestrial life, and that's a mind-blowing prospect. This research paves the way for potential terraforming efforts. Imagine transforming barren plants or moons into habitable environments by seeding them with plant life that can convert CO2 into oxygen. Much like Earth's own ecosystems, this could be a crucial step towards colonizing other celestial bodies. Listen, by learning how to sustainably grow plants in space, we're reducing our dependence on Earth's resources for long duration Earth mission. Less stuff to haul from Earth means fewer rocket launches, which in turn means fewer carbon emissions. I'm just saying. Plus it's cost effective, making space more accessible and sustainable. The knowledge gained from these lunar soil experiments has the potential to revolutionize agriculture here on Earth. Understanding how plants respond to extreme conditions can help us develop hardier crops that can withstand climate change, droughts, and other environmental challenges. This research is a treasure trove of information that can improve food security and resilience in our own ecosystem. As we explore space and learn to utilize resources from other celestial bodies, it can relieve some of the pressures on Earth's limited resources. For instance, Mining asteroids for valuable minerals could reduce the environmental impact of resources extraction on our own planet. This not only benefits our own ecosystem, but it also reduces the risk of depleting Earth's resources to the point of a crisis. And are you kidding me? Let's not forget about the inspirational aspect of this entire research study. It ignites curiosity and captures the imagination of future scientists engineers and astronauts it shows them that there are no limits to what we can achieve when we push the boundaries of knowledge these young minds may be the ones to solve some of our planet's most precious challenges so monica there you have it this nasa funded research isn't just about growing plants on the moon it's about expanding the horizons of the human knowledge and capability it offers insights into biodiversity on other planets most importantly it has the potential of improving agriculture on earth 
in reducing our environmental footprint. This research is a giant leap forward into our quest to explore the cosmos and benefit our own planet. Now I gotta go, but be sure to subscribe to Cryptics Media, like this video, share if you care, and I'll see you next time. Ow! And remember, this lunar plant growth research reminds us that the possibilities for discovery and innovation are as endless as the stars themselves.